Anytime we want to do Tafsir al-Qur'an, brothers and sisters, this right of Tafsir al-Qur'an is strictly reserved for the ulama, for the scholars. It is none of my business to go and open the Qur'an and do Tafsir of the Qur'an if I am not a learned scholar, if I haven't studied in a seminary, in Islamic college, in Islamic university, in Islamic hausa for 10, 20, 30 years, I am not entitled to give my view of the Qur'an. You might ask why? Why can I give my view of the Qur'an? It's obvious, common sense. In every field, in every knowledge, and in every study, there are experts. And it is only those experts that are entitled to give their view in that field. For example, if let's say there is a debate between doctors in a matter of medicine, if they debate that if a person has diabetes, should we give him this medicine or this medicine, and you find that there is controversy, do I, a normal person, let's say I work at Walmart, I work at McDonald's, I'm an engineer, I'm a businessman, I'm an architect. Do I have the right to come and barge and interfere and tell them I think this medicine is better than the other medicine? And give them my proofs? Do I or no? Obviously they're gonna say, wait a minute, who are you? Are you a, are you a licensed doctor or not? If you are, let's hear it. If you're not, I don't, I don't even wanna hear it. They don't even care if you have 5,000 proofs that this medicine is better than this. If you're not a licensed doctor, they don't even want to hear it. Why? Why? Because this is not your area of expertise. I've studied 10 years in the university to become a doctor. You want to come and just give your opinion? Who are you? This is arrogance, right? So that's why if I, me, if I was to prescribe to any one of you a medicine, what will happen? If the authorities find out, I could be arrested. I could be fined. This is malpractice because you are not entitled to prescribe people medicine because you're not a doctor. Likewise, let's say in engineering or an architect, in architecture. Can I go and my, give my opinion in engineering and how to build a house? I come across a house, I see there are construction workers and they're building and there's an architect and an engineer. Can I go and tell them, wait a minute, I think that this piece of, this piece of steel is too thick or I think it's, it should be bigger or smaller or I tell them that you should use this type of wood or these types of nails. Can I say that? They'll tell me, wait a minute, are you an architect? No. So why are you interfering, interfering in my business? What, what's your profession? You're an artist, stay in your art. You're a businessman, stay in business. You're a doctor, stay in medicine. So don't interfere in my business because you're not specialized in my, in my area. So this is common sense. In every field, only the experts of that field are able to give their opinion in that field. Why is it that when it comes to Islam, when it comes to religion, when it comes to faith, when it comes to the Qur'an, everyone is an expert all of a sudden? Why? How come in your field, I cannot interfere because I'm not an expert, but in my field, you're allowed to interfere? You've never studied in the Hawza, you've never studied the Hadith of Ahmed, you've never studied all the prerequisites of the Qur'an, but yet you're a mushtahid now, you have the right to give your view on Qur'an. So this is a very delicate point that we have to pay close attention to. Only the ulama, the learned ulama have the right to give their view of Qur'an.